Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this series where I go through uh, the Port Swigger Academy and we just kind of learn about XXC together. Um, and we'll just go through all the different labs in case you want to learn alongside me. And yeah, it'll be a good time. So first up, we're going to use XXE to retrieve the contents of a remote file that's on the web server that's hosting this vulnerable web app. So I've already popped the lab. So you'll probably see as soon as I access this lab here, you'll probably see the banner saying that the lab has been completed. Yep, there we go. Um, just ignore that. If you haven't completed the lab yet, then you won't see that, but that's okay. So first up, we're just gonna pick a random uh, item in the shopping cart, or I guess in the, in, in the list of items to choose. So we'll pick pet experience days. Yeah, that looks like a good one. And uh, the vulnerability lives actually within the check stock feature. So let's just intercept a quick request. And so we'll open up Burp and it doesn't matter which store location we pick, we'll just go ahead and do check stock. If we head into our Burp suite window, what we can see is this XML call on stack, sorry, stock check, um, where it looks for product ID six at store location one, right? So this is a perfect example of where we might be able to inject our own uh, XXE. And to do that, let's just go ahead and start by creating a line here. Um, and then we'll just open up a quick doc type, we'll just call it test. And inside of that, we're gonna create an entity called XS XXE. Um, let's just think about that as kind of like a variable. And inside of that, we'll tell it to call on the system file, Etsy password and we'll just close everything out. Okay, so what we've basically done is we created um, kind of a variable called XXE that when called upon, it's gonna retrieve this uh, this file in the system called Etsy password. So now all we need to do is actually call on that variable somewhere here in the XML request. So what if we were to replace product ID with just the name of the variable we created? So we'll call it XXE, right? And uh, yeah, I think this is good. I'm gonna actually send this off to repeater. So that way we can observe the request uh, and the response after we send the request. So I'm gonna send that off. Bam, check that out. So it comes back and it returns invalid product ID, right? Because this obviously isn't a, a valid product ID, but uh, it continues to actually execute what it is that we injected. And now we're able to pull down the contents of Etsy password. Yeah, so that's it for this lab. Um, that's a, a nice, quick, easy one. There's there's no sort of bypass techniques to showcase. Um, so if this was something that you found interesting or got value out of, please do consider hitting the like button and subscribing. And uh, check out my next video where I just kind of continue to learn about XXE and move forward to something that might be a little bit trickier. Awesome. Thanks.